what sounds like the absolute worst idea you could ever come up with. Getting a large face tattoo the day before the interview for your dream job. Replying to all of your spam emails with the phrase, yes please, that sounds great. How about deliberately releasing a plague of mosquitoes down in Florida? We don't know about the first two, but the US Environmental Protection Agency has given the go-ahead for the mosquitoes. Here's what they're thinking. Biotech company Oxitec will this week begin controversially releasing half a billion gene-hacked mosquitoes along the Florida Keys in an experiment designed to kill off the island's pest population, according to Futurism. The experiment will target the mosquito species Aedes aegypti, which makes up between 2% and 4% of the mosquito population in the area, but is associated with almost all cases of mosquito-borne illnesses, such as dengue and Zika. According to a statement released on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's website, scientists have inserted a gene called OX5034 exclusively into male mosquitoes, which don't bite humans. They say the males will breed with wild females, which do. The OX5034 gene kills off female Aedes aegypti mosquitoes before they enter adulthood and therefore steadily reduces the overall population. The move comes as mosquitoes native to Florida are increasingly resistant to existing insecticide controls, according to Undark. However, the experiment has caused controversy across the Florida Keys area, with Futurism reporting many residents concerned with a lack of transparency. Potential issues with the experiment are numerous. In a previous trial in Brazil, Oxitec acknowledged that some second-generation female mosquitoes with a similar gene, OX513A, had survived into adulthood, leading to suggestions that a new genetic hybrid could survive in the wild. Futurism also points out that there were no caged trials before the actual release of the mosquitoes, leading to accusations from environmental group Friends of the Earth that not enough evidence is in place before the start of the Florida trial. And that's concerning, because here's what went wrong in Brazil. Researchers from Yale University have found that an experiment to release transgenic mosquitoes in Brazil as a way to reduce the mosquito population has backfired. According to a Yale University news release, millions of genetically modified male Aedes aegypti mosquitoes were released over more than two years in Jagobina, Brazil. The mosquito strain carried a dominant lethal gene that was meant to render them unable to produce viable offspring with wild female mosquitoes. According to the Yale News release, the experiment was aimed at lowering the local mosquito population to reduce the public's risk of contracting diseases such as Zika, Dengue, and Yellow Fever. In a study published in Scientific Reports, gene samples of both the transgenic and wild mosquitoes were analyzed before and after the release of the modified males. Researchers found that some of the wild species retained genes from the transgenic strain, despite initial claims that the genes would not enter the general population as any offspring was expected to die. According to the news release, the mosquito population initially declined after the transgenic mosquitoes were released into the wild, but increased again after about 18 months. Researchers say the local population is now likely more resilient since the population has mixed with strains from Cuba and Mexico that were crossed together to create genetically modified males. Senior author of the study, Jeffrey Powell, hypothesized that population may have bounced back after local female mosquitoes learned and started avoiding mating with the modified males. Powell said in the news release that the mixed mosquitoes pose no known health risks. Health officials in Orange County, Florida have issued a public advisory warning residents of an increase of mosquitoes carrying the Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the virus is spread from avian hosts such as chickens to mosquitoes. The mosquitoes carry the virus and transmit it to humans. Florida officials had found that sentinel chickens in the county tested positive for the disease. Symptoms include sudden headache, high fever, chills, vomiting, and swelling of the brain. After contracting the virus, symptoms take around 4 to 10 days to develop. The CDC's website states that there is currently no human vaccine available against the disease. Florida's health officials advise the public to drain standing water to prevent mosquitoes from multiplying. Officials also advise the public to wear long sleeve clothing, apply mosquito repellent, and close the windows to prevent mosquito bites. According to the CDC, an average of seven human cases of the deadly virus are reported in the U.S. every year. Most of the cases reported have been from Florida, Massachusetts, New York, and North Carolina. 
According to Scientific American, mosquitoes are one of the deadliest animals in the world to humans. The diseases they transmit kill hundreds of thousands of people each year. Here's how they transmit viruses and disease to people. Female mosquitoes only bite people when they require blood to feed their eggs. They use six needle-like parts that scientists refer to as stylets to suck blood. The maxillae on mosquitoes are equipped with saw-like teeth to cut through skin. The mandibles hold tissue apart while the labrum digs underneath the skin in search of blood to extract. The hypopharynx injects saliva into blood vessels and delivers chemicals to keep the blood flowing. Mosquito saliva makes blood vessels dilate, blocks an immune response, and lubricates the proboscis. This results in itchy welts and can also transfer dangerous viruses such as Zika and the West Nile virus. Texas, Colorado, Utah, Ohio, and Indiana have all been experiencing outbreaks of the West Nile virus. Meanwhile, the number of mosquitoes carrying the virus seem to be growing as well. About 1 in 150 people who are infected with the West Nile virus develop severe illness that affects the central nervous system. Of these people, about 1 in 10 die. So how do we combat this problem? Some solutions are to stay away from standing water sources, use mosquito larvicide, and to treat your yards with mosquito spray, or just to live your life in a bubble suit. Scientists say they are closer to understanding why mosquitoes evolved to have a taste for our blood. Here is what you need to know. A new study may help to clarify the affinity for human blood of the Aedes aegypti, also known as the yellow fever mosquito. Yellow fever mosquitoes, which originated from sub-Saharan Africa, are an invasive species and the insects are disease carriers across the world's tropical zone. According to the study in Current Biology, mosquitoes living in their native habitat have highly varied tastes for human or animal blood. This means that as a group, yellow fever mosquitoes from rural areas do not have a strong preference for biting humans. Though city mosquitoes are more attracted to humans than animals, this tendency is only seen in very densely populated modern cities. Therefore, researchers speculate that mosquitoes evolved their taste for human blood for another reason. Cell Press reports that mosquitoes from arid places evolved to like human blood because their life cycles are more dependent on human water storage, citing co-author and Princeton University biologist Carolyn McBride. If her conclusions are true, McBride says climate warming could make mosquitoes even more willing to bite humans. This may cause a worsening in the spread of tropical diseases. Chinese scientists are working on new radar technology to track mosquitoes. According to the South China Morning Post, the radar emits electromagnetic waves on many frequencies. The device reportedly uses technology from China's missile defense system. When these electromagnetic waves come in contact with the insect, they are bounced back toward the radar with data on the mosquito. This information reportedly includes what species a mosquito belongs to, as well as its gender, flight speed, and direction. Another researcher unassociated with the project explained it may be more difficult to detect a mosquito than an F-22. This is because the differences in structure and movements. Background noise may also make it difficult to track mosquitoes via radar. Health experts plan to release mosquitoes infected with bacteria in parts of South America next year in an effort to stop Zika transmission. Wolbachia is a natural bacterium found in up to 60% of insects. However, it is not usually found in the Aedes aegypti mosquito, the main culprit for transmitting the Zika virus. To infect the mosquitoes with the bacteria, scientists had to inject it into mosquito embryos. They succeeded after numerous failed attempts. The bacteria is spread from female mosquitoes to their offspring, even if the female mates with an uninfected male. However, if an infected male mosquito mates with an uninfected female mosquito, their eggs won't hatch. The bacteria can stop viruses such as Zika from growing inside the mosquito, thus stopping them from being transmitted to humans. The Eliminate Dengue program, which developed the Wolbachia method, will be handling the deployment in South America. The group will continue to study the impact of Wolbachia mosquitoes on transmission of Zika, dengue, and chichengunya in large urban settings. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.